to my channel! Welcome to my bedroom again! I haven't done one of these vlogs in a very long time. So I'm going to be talking to you today about my pre-trip travel anxiety uh, before my Greece trip to with med sailors tomorrow! If you're watching this vlog, I'm going to be putting up after I get back. So I want to give you a really good perspective on how I'm feeling now, today, and then showing you my future self. Um, hopefully that I'm having a great time. <laughs> and um, that I had nothing to worry about in the first place. This is me before my trip. <laughs> and that is me after my trip. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm a little bit more tanned. I'm actually really excited about this trip. I actually feel it's like an actual holiday. I've been doing travel vlogging for oh, how many years now? A few years now. And this is the first time in a really long time like I've actually felt like I'm going on a proper holiday. Like a proper holiday. Obviously, I'll be vlogging and taking you along, so look out for those vlogs um, after this. So you'll be seeing um, the day-to-day -day adventures on the travel vlogs, but this vlog is purely to tell you what I'm freaking out about before I go away. <laughs> I am really nervous. So the very first thing I'm worried about is wearing my bikini. So I don't have a beach body at all. <laughs> A bikini beach body ready body. No, I do not. I am an average size girl. I am what the uh, fashion industry industry calls a plus size girl, um, even though I'm only a size 14. What I am really worried about is the fact that I'm going to be on a boat with beautiful beach body babes and then there's going to be me. Would I say that I am completely confident in wearing a bikini? No, definitely not. I like to wear t-shirts and cover up as much as I can. Not looking forward to it. But yeah. Oh. God. Pass is stripping. <laughs> <laughs> only because I'm wet. <laughs> uh, faced quite a lot of my fears on this trip, like um, wearing my bikini. <laughs> um, I actually, I actually wore a bikini. I didn't, I didn't feel, I felt really uncomfortable at first, but it took me a couple of days um, to get into the water, so that gave me a bit of time to get used to it. Um, but yeah, no one really cares. No one really cares at all, especially my boat. My boat was very gone with. They didn't, they didn't care at all. Okay, so the second thing I'm worried about is um, being in open water. I had an incident when I was very young, about seven years old, where I drowned in, um, in open water off the coast of Gran Canaria. I have not been in the water since. I still to this day have um, reoccurring nightmares of tsunamis and being in open water and drowning and all that sort of stuff so it's it's not great it's been over 20 years since I've been in the water so yeah I'm really scared I'm excited to get in the water again like don't get me wrong I'm really excited about being in doing going on the rubber rings having a good time with everyone I think that very first time might be the, the, the obviously the hardest part but after that I'm hoping I'll be fine. I'm hoping it's not going to be an issue after that. Once I get in the water the very first time, I think I'll probably have an anxiety attack, knowing my luck. But I think I'll be fine. I just need to get over the initial shock of it all and be in the water. Hope there's no sharks or anything. Time has come. <laughs> I'm going to get into the water for the first time in like 20 years. Yay! Overcoming fears. I'm just like... I'm on a fish box. I don't want any... Never. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh my god. 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 I think the steps is probably the best part. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think I just jump because I'm sorry. I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're just waiting for our sandbox to sink in. <laughs>
next thing I'm worried about is being on the boat. I've been on cruise ships before, but I've never been on a yacht. They look pretty nice yachts. I've seen various vlogs and and pictures of these of these yachts. I'm very excited to be on it, otherwise I wouldn't have booked it in the first place. But I am very nervous about the whole rocking of the boat situation because I do have motion sickness. Um, I can't deal with the coach situation on various trips. I've been sick on the very first day. Um, so I am worried about sleeping at night because I like my sleep. We all know I like my sleep. I just don't want to be sick. I don't want to, that to be a problem. I don't want to be exhausted every single day. And obviously it's going to be rocking during the day when we're enjoying ourselves on the boat. Um, so yeah, I am, I am worried about being ill. I'm worried about this affecting my trip and me not having a good time on it. We're back at sea again and today is definitely the roughest day of sea. <laughs> It's very hard to <laughs> stand up properly. I haven't quite got my seat legs yet. Which is like on a hold, which kind of turns. It's very hard to kind of stand up. and just sleep through it. Next thing I'm worried about is the scooters. I think this is an irrational fear. I think um, I've obviously never been on a scooter before. Um, I am a very good driver. I've been driving since I was like 20, 21. Um, but I am, I've never been on a two wheel thing other than a bike. I've never driven a scooter before, so I'm worried about being on a scooter and I'm worried about if I am the one driving the scooter, I will <laughs> freak out. Um, I, I'm just worried about not only my own safety, but other people's safety as well. I think that's what I'm worried about. If this situation does happen and they're watching this video, whoever's on the back of that bike with me or in the front of that bike, I bet they are laughing and freaking out right now. That <laughs> something could have happened. I hope nothing happened. <laughs> so I didn't do the scooters purely because the um, Quite a lot of people didn't have enough licenses to do them, so we didn't want to. Some people do them, some people not do them on our boat. But I did do this. I'm about to go on the sofa, this is a really bad idea. Go in, my boys! <laughs> to grab onto for dear life! <laughs> and Ben, who is currently doing photography duties on the boat. <gasps> my god! This isn't making me feel any better. <laughs> noisy it's gonna be and I guess like going out out and the drinking situation I am an older traveler I guess than the rest of them I am NOT in that stage anymore where I want to drink and party all the time which I know that quite a lot of the med sailors um, boats do um, however I have spoken to several um, other vloggers um, and friends of mine that have been on these trips before um, and they have reassured me that um, Med Sailor is really good on pairing people so pairing the boats so there will be like maybe a, a bit of a rowdier boat um, where people want to drink all night and stuff so they do ask you that beforehand and I said I want to be on the, the, the quieter <laughs> the quieter boat because um, I do want that option of being able to drink when I want and that option of going to bed if I really want to go to bed <laughs> and sleep. I'm a grown ass woman, I want what I want. <laughs> I am just worried that obviously my boat is going to be full of 18 year olds. Like I know that that, that could happen. The potential of me being on a boat of 
people that just want to party all night and I'm just worried that that's going to annoy me. hungover. I don't know why I was so worried about all the rowdy drunks when I was the rowdiest drunk. <laughs> This trip's brought out my fun side, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> so yeah, that is what I'm worried about for this trip. Um, hopefully my future self has resolved some of those situations, so if any of you are worried about those sort of situations as well, um, and have anxiety and fears over booking a med sailor's trip because of those situations, hopefully my future self has um, gotten over, <laughs> um, has gotten over those issues, has, sh has shown and proved that it's not going to be a problem. I really hope it's not a problem. <laughs> If you like this vlog, give it one of those thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments. What are you anxious about? What are you um, scared of? If, if you haven't booked a med sailor's trip before and you are worried about it, because after I get back, obviously I'll be able to answer those questions more in full. Stay tuned for the uh, Greece vlogs, because I'm really excited. I love editing my travel vlogs. It's my favorite part. And I've got a load of new toys to play with, to play under the water with, so I'm really excited about those. Thanks for watching this vlog, and I will see you for the Greece travel vlogs. Bye.